Celebrity Reads. I'm your host, Alexis K. Tyler. Um, this is another quick reading. I'm going to come back later because I need to finish getting myself together. For Sonya Massey and the white police, uh, I'm going to say some things that uh, I don't want to say, okay? I see a religious figure here in this. Religious man supposed to be a preacher, supposed to be religious, speaking out against this uh, in the public, in the media, uh, an older man. Uh, the higher fan is coming up here. Uh, someone put my cash app in there, hit my cash app, make it clap. They are looking for new opportunities to shine and get public recognition for themselves. And to make money off of this woman being killed, not really caring about her and her family. This is what they do. And this is very political. And it's during a, um, you know, a voting year, an election year with Trump and Camilla. I think Trump has spoken out when he was pushed. Because he said he wanted to make sure that police are immune from all their shootings and killings. And so there were black reporters wanting to know if Trump felt like this police should be immune, even though he murdered this lady. It's clear that lady was not lifting a pot of water and trying to throw the water at him. So they're looking at Trump's response to this. The black community and black politicians and leaders are seeing what are you going to do about it and how do you really feel uh, about this issue because Trump and his father were sued uh, years ago because they would not rent to black people. A very, very prejudiced and very racist showed a lot of discrimination and want anything to do with black people to be around them or eat food with them or wash their ass with them or have them living in the same goddamn uh, building as them. Now, all of a sudden, he's acting like he's softened. Maybe we we will see. Um, You know, I'm going to say this and, and I don't want to say this here. And uh, I know you're, a lot of you are going to not like what I'm getting, Lord Jesus. <sighs> what I'm getting to say and uh, I'm willing to for putting Queen Drip King Nip in here. Hit my cash up, make it clap. I'm going to call it on. I don't, you know, this is upsetting me. I'm going to go ahead and take me a spiritual bath behind this bullshit. I'm going to tell you that I'm going to say, and I'm, you know me, I'm willing to be wrong. Uh, I'm willing to be corrected, but it's going to be hard for you to correct me on what I'm getting ready to say because you have to get close up and investigate it unless somebody behind the scenes is going to come back, come out and admit what I'm saying. Uh, Sonya Massey Mama is in on this here. Yeah, I said the, the mama, the son. I don't know if she got a brother, but a sister. Somebody is involved in this shit. They set that goddamn it girl up. I told y'all, and I, said, I think her sister, somebody said it. Sonya knew she was going to die because she was scared. She was shaking when she seen that big motherfucker come over there. That big racist ass motherfucking crap. When she saw that dirty ass white man come up in there, when he came that door, she was shaking when she seen him. I'm seeing it. She was nervous and scared. And he was the one that was pressing her when he came in now. They were supposed to be a bitch or somebody. It was a female in this. I don't know why I keep saying either she had a lover at the time. She somebody was fucking somebody or somebody young girl. Or maybe close her age, want to fuck on her, or maybe she had fucked somebody and stopped, and it was a three way relationship. It was another woman that did it. Sonya was very jealous of her and upset with her, and the magic was in there. Uh, she heard voices and people fucking with her because uh, they said now that her tr uh, uh, automobile or vehicle or truck or something, the window will bust. And Lord have mercy. I listened to that 911 call in the audio. I'm not sure. I, can y'all please tell me if that was Sonya up there talking to somebody and telling a bitch, you know, I'm going to beat your ass and I'm going to fuck you up and I'm going to get you and um, you bust my window. Is that who that voice is up there talking? Said somebody, uh, it was, she, she, she thought it was a woman that did it because she was saying, bitch, I'm going to fuck you up now. You know, and uh, 
This was a new relationship and it was also a three-way relationship. How can I put this? It was a group of family. This guy liked her. Somebody had a crush on her, wanted to be with her, making her the center of attention. And she was seen as independent, like, you know, living on her own, making her own money. She wasn't dependent on anybody. I don't, at least that's what the cause is saying here. But there was a new love in her life or somebody she just met that this person wanted it to be that. She got a secret. Maybe she didn't want everybody knowing her business. Uh, this other woman did this. Somebody was out there pranking her, prowling, trying to provoke her because they know that lady was classified as having a mental problem and on drugs. But I have told y'all, and I stood by what I said, that lady had a spiritual slash mental problem. Well, hold on, let me get my chicken out the stove. Oh, Jesus, Lord, God damn it, have mercy. Oh, this shit bothers me, honey. Down in my goddamn core. Sonya Massive Mama is a goddamn narcissist. And the mama, they talked about that girl like a goddamn dog. All the family members sit up there and talked about that girl on that goddamn phone, talking about her to different peoples and shit, telling people that girl was crazy and didn't goddamn have them all. And, um, I, somebody finna try, they finna, they finna come up on a payday. The mama gonna act like she all out in public. The, I keep getting the mama and the son. The mama and the goddamn son is the main people in the forefront, but it's an auntie, not an auntie. A goddamn it auntie up in here. And the sister's up in here. Because, see, this is, this is what my concern is, okay? Y'all know this girl was classified as a mentalist mental problem because she couldn't handle a gift. She had a heavy gift on her and ancestors side that had been hit by a train or murder and, and several ancestors and the good ones trying to defend and protect her that saw it happening. They would come to her. She would have heavy dreams and she would tell people and they would say that she was crazy because the dream was crazy interpreting. They couldn't see what she see and they didn't have the gift that she had and it was a jealousy in her family and it was jealousy of women's outside of a family who liked that this lady was classified crazy because since she couldn't control the gift and she was going to get meds and the meds didn't control the gift, didn't control the mind, she could hear them and feel and see them even stronger. They said, well, you know, I can use this to get this bitch and set this bitch up and come over there and taunt the bitch because the bitch is paranoid and she says she hears shit and see shit and talk to shit down, like I told y'all, I seen the first reading before I had any information on the shit. And this lady really do see and hear shit. They say, I can set her up and say she did it or provoke it with nobody looking. They ain't gonna believe her because she says she didn't see and uncaught this motherfucker talking to a shit that ain't even there anyway. That really was, goddamn it, there. Somebody put some demons on this lady, but this lady was an open portal from the demons and the blood curses that were put on her family by the KKK and people heavily into a cult doing slavery and sacrificing folks out her family, consuming the flesh, keeping the flesh as souvenirs and consuming the blood and mixing it with herbs and doing spells to take the wealth from black people family. Steal they star, steal they birthright and gift from them. And it wasn't right in the spirit. Her mom ain't no goddamn it good, man. Her mom ain't no goddamn it good, man. Her mammy ain't no goddamn it good. The mammy talk about her to certain folks in that family. All them family treat that girl like shit and back up from her. But they act like they so concerned. If y'all was so concerned and you see they sought her up, not set up, sought her up with that guy. That her son was talking to that goddamn it police. And, and her son said he was there every day. But that day... When, the, when when she got killed, you wasn't there. Mental issues. Uh, Lord, I hate to say this. I wonder the, is the back, what the background on the son. Has the son been in trouble and sold dope because drug activity and sexual activity and drug addictness. Somebody getting high in that family is coming up in his family and that police is a goddamn drug addict on the law. He's a paranoid schizophrenic. She really not a paranoid schizophrenic. They labeled her that because the girl hears spirits and she sees spirits and she talked back to him 
And they'll say, ain't nobody there. She's a little, that girl is not, God damn it, hallucinated. She just want to fuck with people because they try to say that shit about me. Y'all not finna have me around here and, and offer me food and water and put some shit in my damn water and shit. And that shit happened to me because I could see it in here. See, I told y'all then call, sit behind my back a whole bunch of people. Call the goddamn it police on me call. You done seen me doing the goddamn shit. And the police come up and see me talking like that. And you done already told the fuckers I'm unstable. I might shoot them. I'm crazy. And then I come to the door and I hold my license up. Hey, here it is. They think I'm holding a weapon and shoot my dick. See, that's why I don't care about people calling me crazy. I don't care about people calling me lonely, bitch. I'm alone, but I'm not lonely. That's why I be here by myself. If I don't have no bitches and no niggas that I trust, because y'all, they have tried to do that up to me. They have said that shit about me, but can't motherfucking prove that shit about me. Because ain't nobody been around me and ever seen me have no goddamn nervous breakdown. When I say I hear a spirit, when I say I hear see a spirit, when I said this going on, that going on, this shit fucking come out. Y'all not, y'all dirty black bitches ain't finna set my motherfucking ass up. See, I know it cause they done tried to do it so many motherfucking times. She didn't see herself that way. She let motherfuckers hear her talking to herself and shit that ain't got no spiritual gift and really not in love with her. Don't give a fuck about it. They go talk about it and then call the fucking peoples up there, the crazy center. Then go listen to them, call the goddamn, call the police on her. Tell them that she must have ill. They didn't send that that uh, message to that dirt ass police. And even if they did, he had had a run in with her before. He wanted to do that shit. But I'm telling you, it's somebody else. That sheriff is a KKK. He a KKK. The niggas run with him a KKK. Them white polices. They are tied into this. And they got a certain amount of kill shots that they got to get in before the goddamn year over. Because secretly, in a secret organization, in a private meetings, they get rewarded and they get bonuses. That's why they put him in that goddamn neighborhood. You can tell what I fucking said is true the other day. They, they, set, they set it up. Them folk, the white police do it. Because I just heard on the uh, 911 today. Well, the mama, that's my first time hearing this shit. I thought I'm sick. The fuck I said, the mammy's going to sit there and goddamn it say, ooh, don't send no racist police over there because, you know, they kill. They like to kill black people. I don't trust them. I'm really scared of them. I'm scared of the police. Knowing the 911 dispatcher work for the police and got the police sitting right there listening to the shit. No, I don't know what you're talking about. No, nobody's going to do that to her. You know, I'm really scared. You know what? If you such a good mama and if I would have done that, I would have been there with the other family members that was agreeing and said the girl was slow and a paranoid schizophrenic ain't got them all. I would have got everybody since I love my daughter so much and I love my mama, her son I don't love so much. And they said they later had this problem for a while. Y'all should have went over there first. If she wouldn't have recognized y'all and let y'all in the house, you should have stood outside then called nine. One, one, and filmed it. That's what I fucking would have did. You love your child so much. Why would you sit this racist, psychotic, paranoid, schizophrenic, drunk, and drug addict on your damn daughter? Because they know that. <sighs> the mama got a foot in two camp. She knows she finna get some money, and they set them niggas sacrifice that goddamn girl with them white folk because that you know lord forgive me for saying this here it's a high power man here he keeps coming up as a king of pentacles as well that is a drug kingpin that also worked with police i believe this drug activity in that area and in that police department that man secretly does that shit it's like sniff that powder and he taking something else he on some sort of a psychotic goddamn it med but the nigga get this shit. That white man and them other one, they get this shit outside of there. God damn it. If he ain't got no prescription for it, seeing a psychiatrist and a motherfucking um getting a uh, prescription wrote to him, we go checking it out. His brotherhood is getting it to him outside of there so nobody can't detect this motherfucker sometime and he shoots something. And his arm, I don't know if this nigga on steroids. They got his mind 
fucked up. He might be taking some kind of goddamn rod. The nigga might be juicing because he real big and muscular like that. And uh, it shows a three-way relationship in here where somebody she was dealing with or want to deal with might have been fucking someone else that came over there and bust that lady wonder out because I don't see that she bust her wonder out playing tricks on her, playing mind games. And instead of her using discernment on the shit, but I guess they got her drugged up on the time she got prescription marijuana, which you know is very, very strong. They're going to get justice as far as getting financial compensation. They're going to take a deal because they money hungry. These niggas and their mammy want money. That's what the fuck I'm seeing and she was willing to set. <sighs> Lord, forgive me for saying this here. Please, Lord, reveal to me if I'm lying, if I'm getting the wrong thing right here. But this here with the mammy, I seen the mammy picture. I seen the mammy talking like she's so quiet. You said them on her. She the, Listen now. Just listen to her. The mama sick her daughter up to get the kill shot. The mama spoke it. She spoke. She said, that's what they do. They racist. They're going to kill her. Oh, I'm scared of them. You scared of them, but you sent your daughter sick them on your goddamn it, dog. That's kept on motherfucking call. All different one of y'all family kept calling. And that lady, you that lady ain't bothered nobody. And y'all let her, instead of meeting her over there to greet the police after y'all done got over there, y'all sicking them on that lady by herself. No, she had just went to the doctor, got on some more refill med. The lady hallucinating, but she not hallucinating. She ain't seeing shit that ain't there, but she really seeing shit that is that, that ain't nobody kept seeing. And then this man could tell something was wrong with that lady. The way she would function, he kept asking the question. Oh, give me where your ID at. Well, I want to show you the paperwork that I have. And somebody was outside messing with me. Oh, I don't want to see that. Give me your ID. Yeah, what's your name? Sonya, what's your last name? What's your last? Uh. You ain't got to be scared. So that means he knew that lady was nervous. He knew that lady mind was off. He can read people very well. He's out in the street. He's been overseas. He's a soldier. He's been trained psychologically. And he's been trained psychologically by the police. And he done moved around five, six times. So they done also did a psych eval on him. And know this, this motherfucking nigga, this dirty ass white police is a compulsive, pathological, goddamn it liar. Because if you hear his superior talking to him, he said, we can't believe nothing that you say. You know, you done, done falsified police reports. You keep getting fired. They keep rehiring you. And they put him in the right place they wanted to, to shoot niggas. Then I tell y'all the night raids have started with the KKK, tying the police and politicians. Then I tell y'all that Nipsey and MLK and Malcolm X and Johnny Cocker. I have been saying this to you, goddammit, for the past few years, saying we going backwards, goddammit, back to the 50s and 60s and segregation and desegregation. I have continuously tried to warn y'all why YouTube have continued to take my videos down and people said that I'm goddammit crazy. Bitch, you won't get close enough to me to motherfucking set my motherfucking ass up and fight. See, they putting that out there on me and gang stalking me trying to create a scenario or tell different polices that goddamn it shit about me to set my motherfucking ass up. But bitch, I don't have no hospitalization stays and I don't have no psych stays, bitch. And I'm going to keep it that way. Because once y'all do that and try to take me there, so what I take, you know what? And then I'll start calling 911 on me, lying. She just did this to me. I was just over there just making, she, the police don't know if you're lying or not. She, she tried to kill me. You know, she'd been harassed and talking. She provoked me. I ain't even doing that to her. She told me to come over there to work like that bitch lied on me to that judge last year. She told, she lured me over to her house on false pretenses, your honor. Alexis told me that she wanted me to come over there and work on our relationship, our friendship. That's what Shannon said. And then when I got there, your honor, she pulled a knife on me and her fat sister ass son said, yep, she sure did. She was waiting on us and had the knife behind her back. I said, your honor, can you please ask her a question for me? Your honor, the judge said, yeah, what the question. I said, 
If they were outside in the parking lot and they never were bold enough to walk up my sidewalk and get on my porch, what type of device or what type of surveillance was he using to, I don't know, look in my house or look through my body to see that I would have a knife, a butcher knife behind my back because I wasn't holding the butcher knife. I didn't have a butcher knife behind my back. Well, uh, you know, we got on the video. She said she wanted to do it with a butcher knife. She said that she want to stab me. And, and she said, play it. Let me hear it. I said, Your Honor, it's like this. I already know my rights. Now, I'm already in Georgia. I know that it's legal for me to have weapons, knives, and guns on my property. I already know if I'm not a convicted felon, I can have guns and knives and weapons that are legal. On my property in the state of Georgia. And this lady was calling me, threatening me, harassing me, but you don't want to look at the evidence. I got texts and videos to prove it. You won't look at them. It's like you're entertaining this. And um, she was at my house threatening to kill me after she had been calling me, saying as soon as she check out her from her jobs, her employer's phone, her cell phone, and text as soon as I get off at five bitches SOS. I'm gonna come to your house and I'm gonna kill you, bitch. I'm gonna see you where Nipsey at, bitch. And she comes to my house after she has threatened me. I have the right to defend myself against her, whether it's a gun or not. The judge couldn't argue with me. See, they'll say shit like that and tell the police that shit. And, and she stood there. I filmed it. See, I had my phone on. Goddamn, the police came over here. Y'all can see it on my YouTube page. And where she said she was telling the police with the next door neighbor, I had been stalking her. I had been harassing her. I'm in my house. Mind my own business. They both lied on me. I'm stalking you. I'm crazy. I do voodoo and shit. But you done ate your fat ass off, ate my food, drunk my liquors and shit. And you hang over here all the goddamn time, big for money and, and uh, dropping a couple of groceries off to put on up for your uncle and your fucking grandmammy. And I got a mental between tell the police that though. And, and I got a mental problem and you're sick of the police. And then she's like, she's filming. She's filming. Stop her from filming. The police says she can film me if she wants to. I'm filming her too. We can film each other because she want me to show people how she built up like the good year blimp. Fat as hell. So I'm, you know, got my eye out there. I'm taping this shit and uh, don't talk to her. Don't listen to her. You know, she crazy and she worked mad. She's going to put something on you. Come inside the door. Don't go up there and listen to her. I opened the door. I said, I'm not going to bite your yeah, officer. I'm, I want to show you something. He said, you better make it good. I said, I got it for you. Fuck with me. You know I got it. Because he can see her where she said, come out of you stupid bitch. I'm killing you tonight, bitch. And then seeing the text, that's when he went. He knew that they had lied on me. And even though the two of them was there together, he said, get away from her property. Get off of her sidewalk. You go across the street and you first give me your driver's license. Let me check your background. You go in the car. Don't you come out until I say so. See, you cannot let these people get close to you. You can't eat nothing from them. You can't drink nothing from them. God damn it. You don't let them hang around you because you don't know who sent them. And you don't know that the bitch is feeling this way unless the spirit tell you different. And see, when she first brought her stinking ass over here. My spirit said, don't trust her. She two-faced it. She jealous hearty. And don't let her in your motherfucking house. And I never, after talking to her from 2019, till she lied on me, tried to set me up again. Because she even said in the text, as soon as I, and she lied to try to do it. As soon as I get this permanent restraining on you, bitch, I'm going to get you locked up for harassment. But she had no evidence. I had all the evidence she was doing it to me. I was never interested in this fat bitch on no kind of level that I would stalk this bitch. And she couldn't prove her position when she got in front of a goddamn judge. Cause after they say all this shit and I'm crazy, I do this. I let bitches hang here. I fuck bitches and niggas, bitch. I ain't never fucked you. I ain't never tried you. I, the, the thought never crossed my mind. Bitch built up like a goddamn it odd bot. I mean, if I was going to fuck a bitch, it's going to be a bad one. Goddamn it. I would never like that, just, just that thought, that one why she was here. That why she didn't lie and couldn't defend her motherfucking position on me because my spirits had told me, uh-uh, this bitch will get in your house, look for loose check, checkbooks and shit and credit card, the bitch is a scammer. I always felt it in my spirit. And when she lied about getting Kim daddy food when her daddy passed, 
Nipsey said, what else she lying about? Why don't you go on and run that? And that's when I paid for the background check and I saw all the scamming shit she did and the lies she done told and stealing doctor the prescription pad. And, you know, I'm, I'm seeing all this stuff. You can't sue me for that because it's not lying and slander. Your DeKalb County police record really said that goddamn shit. See, I don't, I don't have shit like that on my goddamn record because, you know, I'll go without money and find me a job or find a way to make my own money before I go get a job just to scam somebody. I ain't never been accused of that. I ain't never been arrested for that. People, are, they are these bitches are paying to get background checks on me, what I own, what I do. And when even a bitch, uh, Nipsey, first baby mama sent me a email about a year ago and had my secretary of state record on my businesses. And bitch, you know, I'm going to tell everybody, and they have my home address. Unfortunately, get trying to find criminal shit on me. The only thing you can find is that I had a legal name change. And my birthday. So they, they're trying to make that look like a detriment. Age is um it's not your fault when your birthday is it's legal that I changed my name. That's not a criminal offense. They couldn't find nothing criminal on me. You can find criminal shit on my son. I don't really care about that. That's not me. You can't find anything on me because I know it's a shame. I can't trust you black bitches. And see, let me tell you something. It be celebrities. And it because I dreamt about some celebrities attacking me this morning, and and it's been a reoccurring dream since I did the Nipsey, started doing the Nipsey reading, exposing them. I ain't gonna call no names, but it's a female, and um, I know they've been trying to kill me with magic. And you see that I'm still here. See, it's people that's that's gurus, spiritual gurus, in the con science community, and in other places, and they don't want to compete with you. Or, and I'm not competing with nobody. They don't want you here. They'll do black magic on you. They'll get their little flunkies and they follow us to do it, like they spiritual leaders and they got all this power and they will get them to gang stalk you and they will get them to get close to you to pretend to help you with your altar and honoring the physically dead and support you get in your house steal your shit give you something either so either some dick or some dope and a side of pussy they don't get you turned out try to get you turned out got you fucking men's and goddamn it women but ain't nobody came out yet and said i was fucking all on them ain't no niggas said it, ain't no bitches said it you know the last thing i want to is the people women ain't nothing but trouble and problems and i've dealt with them on all levels and all angles starting my mother my grandma and people in my family i would never be with a bitch again Oh no, that 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 thought don't even motherfucking cross my mind. I like dick. And the and bitch ain't got no dick and money to give me. I don't want no scrap on. I don't want no silicone pipe. I want some real stiff peat in this bitch. And even them I don't trust. If the spirit tells me and I'm talking to somebody that you can't see, it don't mean that they ain't their bitch. It's just you don't have the triple vision, bitch. Your pineal and your pituitary and your blood and the ancestors who move through your blood bitch are not expansive enough to move past the three D bitch and the five and six motherfucking uh D bitch to see what we see in here like that girl Sonya Massey. I don't care what nobody say. I'm never say that that lady is goddamn crazy because she ain't. And I see it right here. The seven of swords here along with the emperor and the three of pentacles. Three motherfuckers watching say looking to me i want to see if three family members if we start seeing three family members i don't care if it's the first three the first three we see is the motherfuckers that set that goddamn it girl up for them to go over there and lure that girl into a fucking ambush and she sang it to me she said her and her mama wasn't tight and they didn't motherfucking get along now, if y'all can find anything on a relationship with her and the mama and see a whole bunch of pictures from childhood up to now and see her talking about her mama, how much she love her mama and have her mama talking about she love her daughter, God damn it, and how close they are and she concerned about her and you live where she live at. So if you can physically get to your daughter every day, you can talk to her, you can see her every day. I hope she showed the phone records where she called her daughter and check on her every day and let us see how many times you visit your daughter. You spend the night with your daughter. You cook and clean for your daughter since you see y'all said it, girl, slow and see shit and hear shit. The girl ain't got them all and y'all done had this lady medically diagnosed as mental ill and a paranoid schizophrenic and she on psych meds for a spiritual condition. 
and for a spiritual gift that y'all are now saying is a mental curse and a mental deficit. Let's find out how close the mammy really is to her fucking daughter that she helped send hit means over there to shoot a goddamn it baby. Huh? Lord, I... It's red here the cars don't fucking lie, God damn it. And the girl that says she said they all they want is to come up, get recognition, and act like a victim. The mammy gonna get out here and god damn it cry. And and then she but she gonna take the million though. <laughs> she gonna she gonna be a role model. Oh, you know, her mama got older and lost a baby and all and poor thing. She sucked this dirt ass nigga like she had been set up here, a younger man and an older man dealing with the justice system. And a female. She she might be the queen. I don't know. Y'all tell me son your massive birthday. I wonder which one of these is the queen of pentacles. Which one of these is the queen of wands. Which is what is the earth sign. Which one is a fire sign. Because there's two nickels up in here. With these bitches see. Plotting this shit on this guy. Had been spying on her. Somebody coming over there with a car. As well as a nigga had something to do with busting that girl. Window. I'm telling See. Uh, Lord, I'm going to go ahead and get me a goddamn drink because I ain't, see, I ain't got no business saying this kind of stuff. It's a lot of legal people and preachers in here and churches. See, they finna make this a spiritual thing because the lady called Jesus. She should have called him by his right name, Yahshua. And she might have got a better result and prayed and, and she tried to and try to read a Bible and Try to merge with God, but then they treated her like a goddamn it leper. Huh? Treat that girl like a leper, and they really wasn't. Queen Sheba, who was she being harassed by, baby? Said it was a black truck. A bus. It was a man and woman had something to do about it. Oh, her birthday, February 1988. Okay. See, she was real spiritual. Was she a Pisces or y'all tell me what a sign was? She Aquarius. She real spiritual. She out. Her mind moved like the wind. <sighs> they put it. It wasn't just the police that was on her. It was some niggas here involved with this, with some drug selling, some drug dealing, some drug using, some protection from the polices, and some money. To come up on some money. There was a hit put out on that girl. It wasn't just no police did it. They was talking to the police. And a black male was with this shit. And talk, you know what? I Forgive me, Lord. I'm asking y'all. Look, God forgive me. What I'm saying. I, what I'm saying. I don't like saying what I'm saying. It's a queen of pentacles here. Queen of wands here. Nine of Pentacles. So this lady was independent, even though they said it late. Queen of Swords here. All these wands. She was very, very emotional. She was, you could tell that lady was scared. Like she knew they were gonna do that to her. It was very heavy on her. Like she had been through things with her head before and he shot her, like it went on the side of her head. That's what I'm showing here, because the nine of wands says she done been through these battles before and she got a bandage up there. These three women are celebrating because that girl died. They celebrate her death. It's a three of cups and death. And I'm like, who would be sitting up here cheering this shit on? Unless it's somebody on the low that's close to her, as well as jealous of her. They feel like they finna come up and get justice and get the nine of cup behind this lady murder. They, I don't even see a lot of grieving at this time. And that's fucked up, ain't it? That I don't see that. Why don't I see that? You a mother. You just lost your child. That you sick hit me. And over there and blow that goddamn lady brain. Not knowing that lady wasn't stable. And that she was hallucinating on that med. And she told him somebody was outside. Somebody had to be outside. And they must have left. Or she could call them. Because her window would bust. And then somebody was knocking on the window. Or the wall. Like provoking her ass to come outside. See. To see that and to see the window and then to set her off and trigger her even more. <sighs> Once you say wisdom tonight, they have been killing their family. See, but that's what I'm trying to tell you. 
it's not wait a minute what you said queen sheep they didn't like the traffic i missed something what they don't you said people in that neighborhood wait a minute people in the neighborhood what kind of traffic was in the neighborhood what kind of neighborhood was it i don't i don't know and then queen sheep said she was being harassed and um uh, y'all, y'all tell me, cause I don't know nothing about the kind of neighborhood, but I'm seeing that it was being done. And, uh, you said, I'm sad for her. She knew it was coming. Her great grandfather was lynched. Her six year old cousin killed by the car. Will somebody please email me the article about the little cousin? I thought somebody had said he was false on AC. Send it to me, please. Cause I can't find it. It said, what's crazy. I know the one you mentioned, pot of water. Which wasn't bothering him. No, she didn't attempt. There's nowhere she attempt. Oh, really, Queen? She was drugs and stuff? Yeah, the police is seeing on it. Oh, wow. Thank you, seven people donate. I love y'all. Thank you for loving me and supporting me. You know, this is really bothering me. I said, my mom and sister will be the same way. Yeah, I wonder, do the mama or somebody have an insurance policy on this girl? Because uh, they knew this was coming and got tired of her. And really, if they were spiritual instead of religious, they would have seen that she was not crazy. I should have listened to the stuff she tried to say to him. And then she'll be on the phone and be like, yeah, I can hear him, somebody messing with me and somebody. And then they, uh, whoever they're listening, y'all hear, y'all hear. She don't know she be listened to or they have on a speaker, the three way. Then roll out the mama. The mama messy than a motherfucker, man. The mama roll her ass. See, see, see what I told you. See. To her own fucking daughter on the goddamn it phone, letting people hear her daughter say this stuff. And the mama ain't got the vision that Sonya got. And um, sit there and tell people her own child is crazy. The mama two faces, the sister, all them in there, all they do is keep up shit. So it's not just about the ancestors going through the bloodline because they'll pick certain people. She was a leader and a healer. She was one that one. Them spirits were on that girl so strong. She had dreams and visions and then she was trying to warn them. Oh, uh, you know what? See, I think it's about time for her to get a little check in a few days and they drug up. See, here she is talking out of mind. And, like the mama was jealous of her because the mama knew she had a goddamn it gift. And, uh, I believe somebody got sure that we don't know about the mama, somebody close to, Hey Kim, I really believe that shit. And, uh, let's see if they beg for money to bury her. Let's get, they have to have a GoFundMe or something. Cause if they do, it's only call you going to secretly you that policy and then get you some extra money. These people's is money hungry and was nobody and nothing to this happen to this girl. Now, see, that's how my family lived. And I was seeing shit and seeing they weren't no goddamn good. Especially my mama put me out. And then my grandma wanted me to, and the spirit said, don't trust them. Your mama's a dirty bitch. And then put me out with nothing. Like the same night. So I didn't have to give me my clothes, my shoes, even my underwear. I don't know what she did with them, but I do know what she did with them. Because see, people will take your clothes, your underwear, and socks and cross you so you're not lucky in love. And if y'all have had problems with love throughout your whole life, somebody crossed you. And a lot of times it's your mama. If somebody fucking know your mama that's jealous of you, your narcissistic mama, and then you see it when it finally, you know, you start working on yourself and then they'll tell you not to work on yourself. Don't burn no candles. You're going to hell, but they motherfucking burning them and they doing evil shit and then want to call Jesus all every day and pray and quote scripture, know it by heart. You know, the devil knows scripture too, goddamn it. To me, anybody a devil that will violate, mistreat, and set their daughter up for failure and motherfucking murder, she ain't no goddamn good because that's against even your God that you call your Jesus. And that's against what it says in the Bible about your children. Uh, children, honor and respect your parents or your day will be long. But it also say parents do not provoke your children to wrath. That it doesn't give you a license to disrespect them, kick them, beat them, abuse them, and expect them to trust and you believe you. And I remember, I was just thinking about that last night when I was thinking that that come to me, what she said about a fucking mammy. And I wonder, and her daddy, she didn't say he was dirty. It's the mammy to keep up shit with the females, her sister. And her motherfucking son, goddammit. it! And I remember that my mother came to my door, and right before she came to my door, I had a vision that she was doing black magic spells on me, and had a black doll shaped up like me, 
writing sigils for me to fail and put death on me. And when she knocked on the door, I opened, I looked in her eyes. I seen it in her eyes. And I said, you can't come to my house. I just had a dream that you were doing black magic. Oh, she crazy. She, everybody knows she crazy. And she up there accused me of stuff I didn't do because she crazy. And you need to get your mind. Yeah, but my grandmother used to always say that to my mother. And I remember it was times that I was on the phone. My grandmother had called my mother and, and she was like, I know you've been talking about me, mama. That's what she said to my grandmother. And my grandmother was like, no, I didn't. She's like, I know you did. And I know you got somebody on the three way now. Trisha, you is crazy. I, everybody know you is crazy. Just like them people on uh, your daddy family. You crazy like them bishops. You ain't got good sense. I ain't got nobody phone. Okay. Well, I know for a fact I was on the three way. Listening to her try to do this to my mother. She said, mama, you always have done me like this. You always have been a lying two phase. Yes, you do. Trisha, you need to get some help. You know, everybody know, you know, them people's on your daddy's side. They went up there to Milledgeville in the mental hospital and they stayed and didn't get out till they died. You need to go up there to Milledgeville and you cry. And I thought about it. I said, wow, my own mother was clearly jealous of her to always do shit like that. And my mother didn't want to try to do that to her daughter until I cut it off. I'm not going to spend the rest of my life with you trying to fuck with me because your ex and your deeds speak enough for you for me to never fuck with your ass again in life. When people show you who they are, how to believe them. If your mama dirty enough to do that to you, you should never trust this bitch no more. When she said, I love how I'm at 17, step mama only let me have clothes on my back. Baby, that I know how you feel because that's all I had. You said the dad was going off when he was interviewing with Bill Crow. Yeah, the dad is not in it. It's them bitches. It's them bitches. See, you don't need no white folks and KKK to come through your bloodline, merge with the KKK motherfuckers that's groomed today for that spirit to get on them. You got a lot of nigga motherfuckers. You got a lot of dirty ancestors, disagreeable ancestors that will move through your mama, your sister, your brother, even your own son you gave birth to and uh, connect with the white ones, the KKK ones with the race attitude that hate blacks. They don't like your ass either, but they'll do that kill right there for you because it's going to benefit them and help they race and, and they control the police and get them to a certain area. Why? Now, y'all are telling me, are y'all telling me, I'm going to make sure I get this right. Is this a predominantly black area that Sonya was in when he killed in the house? Because you have to think about that. When you have an area of black people that are policed by white police, predominantly white police, especially racist ones, they were put there for a purpose. They rogue cops. They the member of a hit squad and a drug squad. And they have been given permission to police the niggas and kill the niggas. God damn it. And give them some motherfucking jail time. That is on purpose to put them there and act like, oh, we didn't know that. And we didn't think he was like, yes, you did. Because secretly y'all with that to control the masses, to control the city. And uh, now you sit them motherfuckers over there and y'all get a certain amount of undercover like government funding and shit to do that shit. See, you said, yes, the women, the same thing. My family always keep. It's the women that's running this and control her son. And he going to get some money too off of his motherfucking mama. See, and act like they bitch. See, that's what the girl saying to me. That's what the spirit saying to me. Cause Sonya mind, even though she's still out there, she done got to the crossroad and she was at that auction block the other day. You know, you see many things very clear. And sometimes when people don't listen and trust their gift and get the fuck away from them and they're allowed to be murdered when they outside the body and they look back over their life, they can see the true intentions of people because it's something about her and her mama. I'm telling something my mama did or said or the way she was treated. She know her mama really wasn't a goddamn friend. And like I said, if I felt that something was wrong with my child and my child mind ain't good because of things he done been through and PTSD and trauma. First of all, I would never call the police on my son. I never have and I never motherfucking will. Because he never did nothing to me to make me want to do that. And he never showed any type of behavior. Now he's sneaking now. He nigga slick. Slick ass, red ass nigga now. Now, and look at me, but I'm crossed up ass, changing color ass, eyes and lying. I ain't, ain't saying he won't do that, but that I, he never did nothing. He never hit me. He never attempted to hit me. He never threatened to hit me. I, 
I, I, I'm sorry. And even if me and him got into it, I just, I, oh Lord, that's a hard one for me because I know what they'll do to him. And I seen how that dirty white racist police beat my son up in 2015, 14, like the end of 14 going into 15 and tried to destroy my son. I know he was jealous of my son because he tried to destroy my son's pretty face. And that broke my heart. I cried for months behind that. And I thought we were going to have to get his face reconstructed. We had to put off all videos and everything because it was so bad. Luckily, he's like me. He's like a fast healer. And he's still got a little cut on his lip. And I hate that. I, you don't have to get that off. You don't have to let me take some way to get that off. Because other than that, you can't really see nothing. But to feel like my son is on the phone telling me, there's people outside, mama. I hear them. They talking. They said they're going to try to get me. Mama, they're going to try to do something to me. And I know he got psych meds in the system. They're going to classify him with mental ill and all that. You really think I'm finna call the police on my own child and say, oh, just now y'all, when you come over there, just don't send a racist one, knowing that's what the that's what's running the neighborhood. You that don't even sound right. I would never, I would go over there with my child let and talk to my child on the phone all the way over there. I might call the ambulance or some uh, call the doctor, some some somebody else but them. Somebody else but them. Because I've seen that happen before where they tell 911 the child mental ill and or they might want to put a 5150 hole on them and the child got medication and they'll still come and rough the person up and the police will kill them. Because they did that out here in DeKalb County a couple of years ago, shot an unarmed man that was a military vet and had mental issues, killed that man in his own yard. So to call the police, even I, I, I wouldn't do that. And she going to call them on her fucking daughter like that? I, I just, and you're not there to watch her and to oversee her, the whole family, not there. But y'all kept saying, go over there, go over. There. I mean, it just don't fucking add up. God damn it. Y'all left that lady there by herself while y'all calling y'all sitting at home, but you love your daughter and you know that your daughter off and y'all eyes. And now y'all, you know, the doctors don't care nothing about classifying the lady as ill. And the paranoid schizophrenic. So that means you can't believe that this lady say they ain't she not stable, which should be a more reason for him not to shoot her like that. Because she didn't have a weapon. They asked the mother, do she have any weapon? No, she don't have no weapons on her. She just got a mental problem. And you would do that to somebody mental. And she said, Oh, and she started ducking down like a little girl. I'm sorry. Oh, oh I'm sorry. What you say and just shot this lady and she's ducking down. She ain't throwing no pot or threatening to throw no pot out of war. I mean, God damn, y'all basically just slaughtered a lamb over there. That lady harmless, y'all sick, them motherfucker. I can't live with it. Lord have mercy, I can't accept this right here. Y'all gonna have to prove me wrong, and I dare you to prove me wrong. Y'all know I like for y'all to prove me right or prove me wrong, and I'm gonna come back and apologize, but at this time, I'm not in the mood to apologize. I feel bad about what the fuck I'm saying. I can't believe I'm saying I would never say it. It hit me. And she started talking to me. I looked at these cars. I said, it's several people's involved in this. It's a woman. Want to provoke her, jealous of her, doing black magic on her. It's a man. Man like her, want to fuck her. If she didn't have a new lover, she could have just broke up from one. Or somebody want to be a motherfucking lover. A young man, but he's with this other bitch like he tried to lead a bitch. And he was with her. And the woman got mad and couldn't take it and started wanting to harass or kill Sonya. And then started creating mayhem and mischief because if the word is out that the girl mind ain't there, God damn it. I mean, you know, you can say that about anybody, but you got to be able to prove it. If somebody busts my window on my car and I've had people do stuff like that and break in my car, I'm not going to go outside and walk around. Now, I will call the police, but I'll call someone else first to have my back. I'm not going to be. You could hear her talking to herself. Yeah, bitch, you got me fucked up. I'm going to fuck you a bitch. I know you ain't broke my window now. Where the bitch at? Where the bitch? You know, I it's... Wow. I really don't think she's crazy. And I, like I said, I don't believe she bust her own window. Somebody was doing that because they knew the lady wouldn't be taken seriously. And they knew she'd be considered mentally ill. And by doing those things, and she called the police. And then these other ones, go over there. Go over there. Go over there. They are setting her up. 
because they know they already have the medical and legal justification to say, you know, she ain't got them all. She been she been legally diagnosed. She's been medically diagnosed and medical diagnosis are legal in a court of law and anywhere else. And she was prescribed and she picked up the prescription and used the shit. She so me a part of her agree with the shit. Or she thinking that'll make the spirits go away. That'll make the voices go away because they making her feel bad about embracing her gift because that's ain't what Jesus would do. And bitch, you going to hell and them just demons talking to you, bitch. That's the deal. That's what they do because that's what they try to do to me. But when I started seeing these things I said come true about these dirty motherfuckers around me, I knew I wasn't crazy. And I knew they, them dirty bitches, my mama and my grandmama tried to cut me off from my gift so I couldn't see they dirty, fat asses. Fat, messy, thieving, stealing asses. And they didn't want me to see through them. And when I say I see, you just crazy. You know, you just like your mom. You like, just, yeah, and you just crazy. And everybody know you crazy. Okay, because you're saying it, but you can't prove it. You can't prove it. Of course, the doctor going to tell you that because either they don't have the sight or a lot of these doctors are psychic and they have the sight and they don't want you to have it. And they don't want you to know. So they give you medicine to keep you close and keep around until my. So did you see anything today? Did you hear anything? So what did you see? Well, my spirit's told me don't trust you because you got me on this shit and you keep making me take and make me come here. Oh, see, oh, let me let me recalibrate your meds and, you know, do some shit like that and then tell somebody else. This is the one. Don't worry about it. We got her under goddamn control. We got under goddamn control. I'm going to keep her on this shit. Tell her she got to take it for the rest of her goddamn life. See, now it's an older man showing up here lying to her. And it's a three-way relationship. And the ten of swords, they set this lady goddamn it up. I know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get off of here right now. I got to get myself together. I really don't want to get into this her mama's business. I really don't want to get down in here and this other lady that's either a sister or auntie or a sister and an auntie with a nigga. It's another nigga here. They involved the whole family did this girl wrong. Her family did her wrong. I don't see the daddy doing it, but I'm wondering y'all knew it too. But see the daddy, I don't know if he was in the 911 shit. I don't know if the daddy was also, I didn't hear of anything about him doing it. I didn't hear his voice. It was them bitches, God damn it. Now, I'm trying not to get deep into mama business with that that other one. That's her sister and a fucking auntie and the son and a woman with the son and the connection to that white police. See, y'all keep telling me I'm waiting for the evidence and then I speak on it. I'm not going to speak on something. I don't have the receipts on it. But y'all said that Sonya had a run in with a nurse that happened to be the police wife. I don't know that to be true at this time. So until y'all give me that receipt on that, I'm going to be quiet on that because I really, I don't know the nurse name. I don't know what she looked like. Ain't nobody sent me no picture. Ain't nobody sent me no evidence to prove that she was being seen by a nurse that was married to the police that murdered her when that shot her in the head. And y'all need to send me that. But I know about the mama and I wonder, do her son sell dope or do dope or what is he in? If somebody just saying, I, something ain't hitting me right. Some just, I don't know. Uh, you said, but the uncle tried to molest her younger. She told, and they blame her. Wait a minute. What, Ray Wisdom people? Her uncle tried to molest. How you? How did you hear this here? And the family blamed her. So that means her own mama didn't, didn't support her. And. So the uncle was involved. Now, yeah, I didn't see the daddy. I seen another male family member with them, with the fucking auntie and with the goddamn her sister and the fucking mammy because they've been talking about her for years. You said the nurse dad is the one I get. Well, see, somebody need to prove to me that. You said, Queen Sheba, I feel so bad for the woman. Why these super black politicians ain't? Talking shit, it hurt my heart because they haven't been given a okay by the higher ups and get their money. They'll speak out and they know it ain't gonna hurt their standing in their career. That's right, damn cat. That's right. That's goddamn it right. Try to pull that shit on me. I said, I'm not. No, these are gifts. Excuse me. They said, now these are gifts. 
I knew it when I tried the spirit and I tested the spirit and the stuff I was saying coming true and everybody around me telling me the females in my family that I was crazy, but then scared of me at the same time because they knew I really wasn't crazy. I could see them. So they would talk about me like they still do. And I don't give a fuck. I think the best thing they do. And I ask God to help me get over that hurt and pain and accept it. I'm glad my family has shit to do with me because they ain't shit. If your parents told you that Gigi beautiful, you can test the spirit and hang around and ask them to give you proof to show you. But if they don't show you, you better listen. God damn it. You know, Taser unalived her that bullet to her head and said it came out of neck unalived her. So they cut mine's off. Ain't nobody cut your gift off, baby. You cut it off through fear, insecurity, hurt, pain, whatever. Ask it to open up and come back. Start meditating, folks, on your pioneer, your third eye, open back up. They tried to take your gift and take your birthright. You can block it and start doing your spiritual work and your uncrossing and bring your gift back in. Because if they did it, it was through a curse to try to take your birthright and your inheritance and your money. You can break that and bring it back. Try to take your life that don't belong to them and live your life, your money, your prosperity, your gift. You you, you got to stop saying that or it's going to stay like that. You need to fight that ass. Yeah, and a lot of these enemies is your fucking family, honey. Not just these white folks and these, these niggas or golden white folks and tell them to set your motherfucker ass up. I got to go take a break, child, and, and take me a spiritual bath behind this here. I'm going to go ahead and boil my herb. Y'all hit my cash up. Make it clap. I hate to do it, but uh, I'm going to dig into mama business some more. The uncle and shit. It's something about the mama, man. It's something about the mama ain't don't sit right with me. And somebody just said that this girl, when she was a young girl, said her uncle tried to rape her. And the family didn't even support her. And the mama didn't even support her. See, I told you she went shit, man. When shit, just want some money. Oh boy! I mean, Tarnika, you know I could be wrong about what the fuck I'm saying. You know, I know y'all gonna investigate. Let me know, goddamn it. Cause uh, it's uh, it's it. Just, that girl came to me and said that her and her mama didn't get on to my mama ain't shit. I couldn't trust her anyway. That's what she said about her mom. I said, wait a minute, goddamn. Now, let me look a little deeper. Let me see what these cards are saying. And I'm seeing these three women. So, that will be the mammy, the sister, and the motherfucking aunt. It's another female, and they celebrate because they looking at what they finna get recognition and getting their clothes and shit ready for TV and what they going to say and how they going to say it. And if they have a funeral, you know, the politician and shit going to turn that out. Got gray head ass Al Sharpton now who built up like a lollipop. He done had that goddamn it nip and tuck. Got had him a tummy tuck, goddamn it, and a goddamn uh gastric sleeve and bypass and shit. So he built up like a lollipop with that round ass head and that stick body, goddamn it. So you know he probably gonna be there, you know, and then Crump, you know, the lawyer Crump. They're gonna be in there and 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 like they sirens speak, cause they, you know, them is the elite, them the bourgeoisie niggas like that. See, they put them up there in power and they're going to reward them for this here. So, um, they're going to take that money. They're going to take it. You know, they're going to fucking take it. Why wouldn't they? Because they love one and them police sisters did that shit to the child. But, uh, it's a little baby here somewhere. A baby keeps coming out talking to me. So either somebody had one or finna have one in the family as well as one have died. Crump is your cousin. Well, baby, you don't need to be over here. Because, you know, I'm not going to now walk it back what I said about your cousin. God damn it. I mean, uh, he's part of the elite. He's been sanctioned to be there. He's a part of the secret society. He's taking an oath or he would not be on TV. And that's just the way that goes. So maybe you need to investigate a little goddamn it further because uh, I'm not finna sit here and apologize and take a goddamn motherfucking thing back. I said by Crump, he's a he's a part of the elite. He's a part of the elite. Your cousin is down with the Baphomet. Goddamn, your cousin down with the Illuminati, with the bourgeoisie black. I wonder what school he went to. 
Did he go to Mohouse? God damn it. Did he go to one of the black schools? Uh, and was he also? So yes, he's a Mason. He's a Mason, like the rest of the lawyers, a lot of the police and the goddamn judges is. He is with the system. He has been approved to be on TV as long as he follow their directions and instructions. He will be a superstar in the civil rights community, black rights. And when these niggas get shot down, God damn it, Danny going to stand on TV, spew his rhetoric, fight for them. He only fight for the dead ones, God damn it. I mean, that's where you really get the money, unfortunately, when somebody got damn it dead and he going to milk this here as long as they say that he can milk it. Honey, okay, yeah, you know, that that is, um, that's my key to get this motherfucker up out of here. I said what the fuck I said. You know, I said what the fuck I said. So you think as you say you somebody could I'm finna goddamn and start shaking and stuttering and got the wood in the mouth to see and stuff. I ain't walking a goddamn thing back. Bitch, I'm every woman, it's all in me. Anything you want done, baby. See, I'm Shaka Khan, bitch. Do it naturally, bitch. I'm every woman, goddamn it. If I said it out my mouth and I really mean this shit, I'm going to stand on the goddamn shit, bitch. I'm standing on all 10. I'm going to stand on business. Now, if i not sure and I don't believe it, I'm going to take it back. Well, wait a minute now. Okay, well, you know, I could be wrong. I ain't wrong. That how they get up there. God damn it, they got to get down and lay down. They got to toot they booty hole up. See? <laughs> I ain't really, I'm playing singing right now. You know, I'm just kind of fucking around, making a parody at the shit. Happy woman. Yeah, bitch. Unless you can prove me wrong. Well, you know, I don't want to always stand on what I said, goddammit, unless I'm wrong. And I'm going to come back and make a correction for the shit. But you set toes deep in the dirt. Yeah, standing bare-feeted. And goddammit, not needed. I'm standing bare feet of pigeon toe and not needed on this thing. And the dirty south, goddammit. Collard green, buttermilk, cornbread, goddammit, rice and gravy, and motherfucking chicken wings. Bitch, I'm standing on this thing. You know what? Well, I'm, I'm surprised. What we're going to do something. Me and Kim going to do something special for her daddy. And we're going to do the guard. And I say, you know, I hate to see my yard the way it is. And if y'all want to contribute to it, you can. And if you want flowers planted out there for you and, and offerings put out there, since I can't always light the candles in here because the smoke in this box is my lungs, you know, and, and have the altars, you know, we're going to have an outside altar. So I got to, I'm trying to learn now. I'm so excited. We get the grass put out there. Um, I hate to see just that Georgia red clay out there. Um, and I'm finding out about the summer moving into fall flowers. I can do some artificial, but I want some real because I love them. And we can have our altars out there and I can do the prayer flowers and stuff. Thank you. I mean, I can put some outside, but I got to watch it and show you and, you know, eat it. That's right. It's Leo season. Nipsey's birthday is on August the 15th. If y'all want something on his altar and me to cook for my sweetie and y'all send donations, please. So we can get him something special. I will light them on that day. Or I light them in the evening because it's been so hot and humid in Georgia. But anyway, let me get me together, y'all. I'll come back. Y'all donate. You you will. You'll donate. Yes, I want them to donate for the flower bed because we got something special we're going to do for Kim's dad. Because he always comes in and out. And I just love the flowers. I hate to see it. It's like you notice, I noticed when I got sick, it looked like the yard was even more dead. And I want it to come to life even if we do a winter yard. Because there are flowers that can live outside in the cold as well as extreme heat. And it's, we're in August now, so we're moving into the fall and then the winter. Oh, Gigi, that's your birthday too. Yeah. And y'all, like I said, to, to you know, continue to donate to the defense fund too, baby. Because if I'm staying outside, even though it's cold, bitch, I got to have that heat on me, baby. You know I got to keep that iron on me. So, you know, I got to make sure I have some upgrades. See, I need some up graded and you see what i'm saying i need to have a ride design on this bitch since they like to try to play with me like i'm some type of common bitch 
You see what I'm saying? So whether it's hot, I need that heat. But see, as it get cool outside, God damn it, I need that heat close to me. You know what I'm saying? Like on my leg and, you know, the whole thing. It's easy to get too, God damn it, now. Now, you know, drip is with all the smoke. They want to say I'm not and I ain't got good sense and a scary bitch. And I, but, you know, you know that it's not the truth, baby. You know that it's not the truth, bitch. You, bitch, you know I'm with all the smoke, bitch. You bring it to me. I'm going to fucking deal with it because y'all know I don't bother nobody. I don't go to nobody's house. I be at my house and they want to bring this, this smoke to drip. And bitch, you know I'm with it. God damn it. You know what? Can I just drink? <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> y'all <y> make me cough. <laughs> <laughs> you said, Trish, you tell my, you tell my, I'm a fast sign. I want it cold. You see what I'm saying? Because even you know when it's cold, bitch, it's hot. When they provoke you, they know that it get real hot. You know what I'm saying? That, that still is cold. So cold. That when the motherfucker come up on you trying to step to you, that mother, that cold still get real hot, don't it? Huh. You play with it if you want. Uh -huh. Play with it. I love y'all. Hit my cash out. Make it collab. Let me get myself together, y'all. If y'all want some more, donate and shit. And I'll come back and get back in this hill. You know what? Fuck, let me say one more thing. Chino XL. Now, I know they will not say how he died. Chino XL has been around my house, goddammit. But I'm, you know, I'm trying to respect the family because they don't want to discuss how the man died. They don't want nobody saying that about the man. They just want to say, you know, he died and he it's all right. We handling everything and we don't want to disclose nothing else. I believe he was sick. I believe something was wrong with him. That what he telling me. He had a sickness. It wasn't like, oh, I'm so happy. I'm so strong. I'm so healthy. I'm performing. And then all of a sudden he drops dead. I don't. I, for some reason at this time, I'm not getting that, but I'm not going to disrespect the family, you know, but he is saying something to me that's kind of bothering me a little bit. And, uh, I think he done Tupac done seen him over there, but I don't see him fighting. They just talking, you know, they, they having some little word. Cause you know, him and Tupac, he had fell out that crew and that Diddy crew and all that fuck Biggie, fuck Mob Dick, fuck Chino XL and all that shit. And they had a little feud going on for a minute. Cause you know how Tupac little bitty bald head ass this ain't got no goddamn about it. And then he kept mentioning to me about some black relatives, and I was kind of confused about that. He mentioned somebody, mama, or something being black, or have some black in her. He said, yeah, she black. Because they say he Puerto Rican, as my grandmama said, Puerto Rican. He Puerto Rican. But a lot of them got black in them. They don't talk about it. He, he told me that he was. He said he got black blood in him, as well as Spanish blood. He mixed like. That's what he told me. He was saying he's a good looking red nigga too, goddammit. I think he got about three, four children. He, I don't think he married or he was a woman. I'm not sure she, I'm not sure she was too close to him when he physically, I don't see him like being all in love and married or one being in love with him. They might have still been cool or something. He told me, he said that them record labels make them men and young boys do things they don't want to do. And he said, I'm, it's men connected to me. That signed contract with me that did drugs and homosexual and bisexual activity in my era. He said that it's a chain link. They finna come up dead too. He said a lot of them is on the low sick and did things to compromise their self of fame and fortune. But the fame did not and the fortune did not last. But they were under demonic contracts that sold their soul and, and invasion of their ass. Body snatching their asshole. And uh... Tapping in to the birthrights of they soul. And he said the top record labels have these old contracts and these old, very powerful, very intelligent, wise. Uh, he very he is spiritual, very and he very intelligent, very deep. Chino XL. He's been trying to talk to me, and I said, Chino, you know that your family don't want nobody to say nothing, and I don't want to, you know, get in trouble. So I had to be tipped. -top. You could tell me, but Cause this thing he want me to repeat. And I said, you know, your family don't want you to repeat it. Maybe you thought that when you was in your body and now you can see clearly he had the train track. He had the railroad track. So I wonder what native Americans and black folks in his goddamn bloodline on the mama side and 
the daddy side and what sacrifices and murders and oaths and debts have been taking place against his people. He very, very spiritual. And Chino Excel is very small. He's a very intelligent and a deep thinker, and he could see things too. He told me to tell you. He said, watch it. His era, his age, the rappers, the whole groups like squads and all that that was together in groups. He said, and Puffy is a dirty motherfucker that's tied into it. Female trafficking and nigger trafficking was trafficking and busting niggas booty and having the niggas in a sex trafficking ring. He said this here finna come out as well and some of them gonna fall dead behind it cause they been sick for years or really dead in their spirit and dead in their mind and taking these medicine and said these uh, record labels is up with it and had somebody like Puffy and they had gatekeeper before Puffy and paid Puffy and had him on a payroll and were blackmailing niggas and fucking niggas all in the ad. Not you know, we're an extorting niggas. With bitches and babies and art C. Chino XL is real deep. Real deep. He's a deep thinker. And he's a very, very brilliant man. I just, you know, like I said, he keeps his one particular daughter that he concerned about. And that he want to send message to. I think he had three daughters, but it's one. And for some reason, when he think of her, he said the word angel, angel. So I don't know if that was like his angel or that's his special daughter, or favorite daughter. Or he see angels on her, around her. Or it was a name they call her that might be like angel or associated with it. Or, uh, You're going to have to sign a contract when you do business with people. That's just the way it goes. Whether it's in that, whether it's at your job, well, you're not going to get a job unless you sign paperwork. That's just the way it is. And depending on the job and the corporations, then they're controlled by demons too. Love you too, D-Wish. Anyway, I wanted to sit that a little bit in there with him because he's not bothering me. He's outside. He's not in my house. He's outside. And y'all, he's looking around and he real smooth. He, he, he very straightforward i don't know him so if anybody know him or seen him talking in interviews and shit i ain't never watched no interview i'm never a fan you know but now i see you know how he is he not gonna like lie to you play games with you look at you not blink he'll size you up he can feel people by looking in their eyes he's very matter of fact he gonna tell you it is what it is or it ain't what it got them ain't this what it is this what i feel this what i don't this what i like this what i don't like you know, just very direct and to the point and a real deep thinker. And he don't tell you everything that he thinking for. He just look around. Then he been looking around outside to make sure that I was all right. He stand by that door. He's working some things out. He has not left his plane. Chino XL. And he just talking. I, I really like you. Call you real. You see me, I see you. He know it's safe to talk to me and trust me. And I said, you know, I can't do that because your family, uh, you know, I'm still in a body, goddamn it. Now, I, I, you must agree to the shit and then want to buy your business because ain't nobody knows your business because you ain't tell nobody that you were going through some type of physical sickness. Now you want me to get into it? I said, I will know. You can tell me. But I'm not going to get out. Because your family already said respect their privacy and lead them along. Just let us bury him and don't don't say nothing. And we ain't going to tell y'all what the fuck was going on, which means there was some goddamn it going on. You didn't just die suddenly out the blue and was totally fit and top health and all that shit. Some else had to goddamn it happen now. Um, Ooh, that sound pretty. Blue candle with gold. Anyway, I want to say that a little bit. Y'all already know any woman or any man that has become a superstar in that industry has taken the oath and has bowed down in their pussy, their butt, and their mouth. And they don't also sacrifice somebody. That's the nature of the game. You said, I used to run into him all the time back in the day. That's it. Really? Thank you, Nichelle Hazel Wilcox. I don't know. I'm just telling you the person that's looking at me, he stare. When I talk to him, or when he's talking to me, he look because he want to feel me out. I don't look. I don't know how they get down here. I don't know how they get down here. I don't know why they come here because there's so many psychics and shit. They like to come to Atlanta. So he, he probably done been to, I'm sure he done been to Atlanta before because now he asked me for some food. And ooh, Chino, leave me alone because you're going to make me want to eat it because it's all the kind of stuff you know I like, goddammit. And 
Oh, I love that Dominican food, but he likes soul food too. Show me some barbecue. Mm, mm, mm. Show me some peas and cornbread. Now he better stop playing with me. Cause you know, I get in there and cook it. I like, oh jeez, I ain't had none in a while. Need to make some buttermilk corn. Oh, he looked at that. I mean, he was real calm. He like he stood on one leg, like he had one leg in front, like the other one kind of back light. And he looking at me and my dog had a hand down, hand calm. He got nice hand, got nice nail, pretty fade, pretty skin. Had it had his stuff shaped up around his mouth. And he was looking dead at me, just talking. He said, I want to talk. I got to tell you some things that I need you to tell everybody. And he's strong, even though he's very calm. He was talking real calm. His body wasn't moving. He was looking at me, but you can see he has the heart of a lion. Very, very strong. I hate him and Tupac fell out. On what you say, you said, we Aries. Oh, so he's fire like me. Okay, he's straight, and that's how I am. I guess so. He said, "God damn, let me just get to it. Let me tell you something." He didn't, he didn't fuck around. He played, he just told me straight because he know that I would accept the shit and I understand the shit and I would know if he lying. He know if I'm lying. He said, "But I already know you. I don't look through you. I already know you the truth." So he tell him, I said, "Oh, oh nigga, I know you the truth." Cause what he was saying. He said, I need you to tell everybody. He said, it's more death coming. It's like a domino because the people that's attached to me and the, the, the label I'm with, we all connected through a spiritual chain of curses. We all like a domino. He said, they finna fall down. For some reason, he's bringing up bus a bus to me. Bus a rhyme. He said, bus a rhyme on the low. God damn it. I mean, they compromised on dope. He mentioned Chris Brown again. I wonder what the fuck going on with Chris Brown. He mentioned them ASAPs. Now, I know one of the ASAPs is married to Rihanna, but it's the other ASAP. I don't hear about them no more. I'm making no me. He mentioned the locks. Now, look, I don't mention hair run and drug sales in Montana. He mentioned Montana. He said it's something. And the milk ain't clean, like might be some sugar. They, you know what? I'm sorry. See, I'm, I'm, mm. I'm gonna see how him and Tupac work on stuff over there. Wait a minute, baby. Who lost a lot of weight, April? So it was rough as a child dealing with it, not knowing what it was. Wait a minute. Who you talking about, baby? You said. Damn, can I just vent podcast? I think those girls taking pics with Chris Brown clone, he pimping and that hump. Yeah, he do be doing stuff like that. Who y'all said had lost a lot of weight? God damn it, because you know, bust really. Oh, I thought he was training. He had muscle. See, so he said a lot of them hide it by taking that stuff. They got cancer. He said that it's a form of cancer. Like HIV and AIDS is a form of cancer. And a drug addict, he said they're addicted to it on the low. You don't see them all the time. You only see them on TV when they're looking good and feeling good. Many times they replaying stuff you think that's them right now. It be they, it, they, they don't be them. They be at the hospital. They be looking real bad, especially if they ain't got the money to get their meds or get their touch up and shit. He said, then they like to suck a lot of dick and smoke that shit. You know what, Chino? I'm not finna do this. He said, see, I had to get away from, I had to get away because they wanted me to be like that. He said, I had to get away from. <clears throat> you said, that how y'all Aries are? Shit, <laughs> shit, really. <laughs> said, he been a boy lover. Boy lover. He said, he seen all of it. It was sick to his stomach. That. <sighs> So they put something on him that we said, put a disease on him. He was sick. You know what? I'm sorry. I already said too much right there. They not go. They the family clearly is not going to talk about it. But he used talking about a daughter. One of his daughters might be having a hard time with this, or they know it. They know it. But anyway. Yep, like Black Robin Puffy gonna want to say he used his money up smoking crack while he and that a recording brew. And Puffy got him like that. Ain't no telling he might have had him in his ass. You see what I'm saying? And fucked him and gave him some because he couldn't get well. He was down here in Atlanta, and people that owned Juice Bar were again 
Black Rob, Jews and Herb and all that, he still couldn't overcome because that's a demon that come to collect. Everybody get with and do an agreement with, they die or, or, or be out the arena or have sex spirit on them. You know what, Nikki? You know, all up in their gut, man. You know what? I'm sorry. That's look, that's what the man said he saw was just sick on his stomach. Thank you, Nichelle Hazelwood, about for sharing that with me. Yeah, and some wrote Chris Brown got demons on him. His mind come and go. He might be laughing and talking real sweet to a woman, but you know, quiet as he kept. Chris Brown be with pretty light skinned young girls and shit, but Chris Brown like seasoned women's. Chris Brown like older women's. And they not cougars that come at him and pay him. Cause Rick, Chris Brown don't need no money. Chris Brown like to fuck women's around his mama age, man. But not not like no old snuff dipping bitch, you know, with a drawed up woe out pussy, you know, that's real tight and 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 got dust on it. I don't, you know what? Let me shut up. Let me shut up. And if it's, let's say, okay, if it's an attractive older woman, but she don't look old, she don't look her age, and it's something sexy about a man, or like they still got a pretty face, it don't be drawn in, like Chris Brown will pursue older woman, and then if a certain woman got, she got certain spirits on her, like a sex spirit on her, like she look good and she's still real sex and hot in the ass, he'll pursue them, like. You know, try to get them to come where he at and shit and bust them all down and he bust treat them like a bust down, goddamn it up. And you know what? I don't know. Y'all don't believe me. I'm lying. Unless somebody can prove it, goddamn it, to prove I'm lying or prove somebody he done been with older women before. It's it's certain older women's turn him on, like he got certain fetishes and shit and the fuck that breaks off for him. And then if they still sexing him, got some good pussy, he'll get attached to them, like obsessed with them. And he'll be nice to you one minute. He might even, you know, y'all be, he get you a plate of food. He in. Chris on that shit on the low. Get high and shit. Or pop my them goddamn pills. Want to fuck. And like he all in love with them. This nigga might all of a sudden while he in the bed with you just turn over and start. You know, doing like some Count Dracula shit, like just choke you by your damn neck. Just I'm talking about choke them. You know what? I don't know why I'm saying that. So don't believe what I'm saying. OK, I mean, I'm seeing this in the spirit. I, 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 maybe I'm not seeing it right. Choke them right down to where they <coughs> like where they about to give out. Then let them go and start biting on them and digging around in their ass. Cause he like the fuck. Like he got a sex addiction or something, but also he get sometimes a ass spirits being spirit get on him where he'll be nice and yeah, let's go out, let's get a drink and laughing and chilling and shit and at the house. Then all of a sudden, whoop they motherfucking ass. Look, come in here, take this up, call the doctor over here, send to that clinic. You ain't nobody gonna tell, patch that up, bitch. You, this is what happened to you. This is what you're gonna say. What happened to you, bitch? You fail. And he'll hustle some money, make sure she get back home safely, send on a private jail or something, and don't want nobody ever know about the shit. Oh, bitch, you pregnant, you lying black bitch. Okay, well, that's fine, bitch. You're gonna take a before, you, you're gonna take that morning out the peel or what that is before, especially if I know I like to fuck you in your ass with a rubber. Like, he real nasty like that. I know, force himself down, and he been been just as nice and charming. All of a sudden, this nigga got a switch in his head. This nigga, something wrong with Chris Brown? I don't know why I'm saying it. He got them all. This nigga's a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and he'll target them and get them. But really, he like them of all race. But really, he like them. He like them older too, man. He like them older, but they gotta, you know, they gotta look a certain way, like and. Give him a certain feeling. They can't be big. He don't like no fat woman telling you that right now. Um, they be black women too. And all of them don't be real goddamn light skin. I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm. So, oh, he a top? Wait a minute. Chris Brown is a goddamn Taurus? Oh, Lord. He but see some, he keep it in. And when he get frustrated, 
He'll go off in a rage. Of Chris Brown got a temper. He'll go off in a rage and where he can't have what he want and bitch don't. Yeah, but but you told me that we were gonna go out and we were gonna hang. I know I told you that, but I don't know. I just like it's like some are switching. I'm gonna do something else. And then in control and dominate. Oh, you bitch, you bitch, you make great man. No, 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 no. Shh, get the fuck out of here. Shut up and not just snap like he's another fucking person. But then again. I could be getting the wrong thing. I don't know why I'm saying that about that man. You said his first child mother's an old one. Really? Really? Lord Jesus, this nigga's a goddamn tyrant. And you know they gonna have their way, goddamn it. And if you don't, and if you want, then when you when you they really want you, you don't want, oh man, they'll they'll get upset, they'll chase you, they'll stalk. They'll stalk because he won't what the fuck he won't. You can't tell him no. You know what? Like I said, I don't know why I just said that about that man. I don't know why I said that. Lord, forgive me. I'm willing to be wrong. If y'all can find something out about him to prove that I'm wrong, it'll be okay with me. God damn it. I, I don't know why that that's what Chino had said. I mean, he said most of them niggas are sadistic and sick and a lot of them don't even like women. God damn it. They, they got them so fucked up in the head to sign a contract and make them up with me and and do all kind of shit to them and make them compromise themselves for a deal and heavy into the occult. Oh, you say, yeah, he stalked his ex, LaRue. What? I ain't know that I don't keep up with him. Now, that new song he got, I like that, goddamn it. He with that, uh, I think of that Jamaican boy, how he said that stuff in Jamaica. You know, them Jamaican be turning me on when they get to talking like that in them songs and rapping and throwing their dick like that and rolling their head. And I like them girl, how they do that, uh, but they did that, that ting 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 to ting 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 ting. See, I'm, I'm gonna have to shake my ting ting, got them get in shape. Cause I like that when they don't say thing, they said tink. And they gonna be throwing that ting, doing that ting ting. You see what I'm saying? I love y'all. Let me get my <laughs> Thank y'all for listening and not attacking me here while I see it, why I got them and see it, god damn it. I love y'all. Y'all hit my catch up, make it clear. I'll talk to y'all soon.